The book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill is considered the all-time self-help classic. Just check any list of must-read books for everyone who wants to achieve success, and this book will be in the top. So let me make a terrible confession. Even though I love reading and I've been actively learning everything from positive psychology and the science of motivation to Reiki and energy healing for the last 17 years, I finished this book only last week, and it took me some real effort. I will tell you the truth, I expected a lot more from this book. So in this video I want to share with you a quick summary of 13 steps to success. A powerful strategy that works a lot better than affirmations, that will boost your focus and motivation in just 5 minutes per day. And a key concept that I learned from this book that makes all the difference between high achievers and losers. So keep watching. In 1908, an American journalist, Napoleon Hill, met Andrew Carnegie, multimillionaire and a business magnet. This meeting defined all Hill's life. Carnegie offered him an unusual project to find the ultimate success formula by interviewing 500 of most successful people in America. Hill devoted all his life to the project. Twenty years later, his first work was published, The Law of Success in Eight Volumes. Later, Hill decided to publish more condensed version of his work, and thus Think and Grow Rich was born. It became Hill's best-known work. The book is among the ten best-selling self-help books of all time. In this book, Napoleon Hill tells about 13 steps to success and abundance. Let's see what these steps are. The first step is desire. Rather a logical start, since before you can get something, you need to figure out what you want to get. Any goal starts with desire. The stronger is your desire, the more chances you have for success. Become obsessed with your goal, and luck will be on your side. The second step is faith. You need to believe that your desire can actually turn into reality. You can dream about a million dollars all you want, but if you don't believe it's possible for you, if you don't believe in yourself and your abilities, then your dreams will remain dreams. Hill recommends to use auto-suggestion technique in order to develop faith in your abilities. Every day you need to repeat out loud positive affirmations until your subconscious mind starts believing in them. But there are much more powerful and interesting techniques and I will tell you about one of them a little bit later in this video. The third step is auto-suggestion technique. With this method Hill recommends to boost self-confidence and to develop faith in your abilities. Auto-suggestions are presented as one of main self-development strategies. Hill considers it very important, so he devoted a separate chapter to it. I want to offer you another strategy instead, that works much better. It is called the movie of the future. It's very easy to do, it will take just 5 minutes of your time, and this exercise is perfect for practicing early in the morning or just before you go to bed. You need to close your eyes and think about your goal. Fast forward your life and see yourself already enjoying the desired results. See yourself as in a movie, not the static picture. Imagine the whole film, add colors, sounds, smells, and the most important thing, add emotions. How will you feel once you achieve your goal? What will your family members and friends say? Watch your movie of the future for 5-10 minutes every day and try to add new details every time you watch it. Come up with new scenes and new dialogues, add new people and new circumstances. Become a producer of your life. This simple exercise can boost your energy and motivation level for the whole day. Give it a test drive for one week and you will be amazed by results. Step number 4 is specialized knowledge. Hill divides all knowledge in two major categories, specialized and fundamental. Fundamental knowledge is the one we all get in school. There is a common myth that knowledge is a power. Not at all. Knowledge becomes power only once applied. Unfortunately, the knowledge we get in school and even in the university often can't be applied in real life. It's not practical at all. There is a different kind of knowledge that can be turned into skill. 
For example, a skill how to produce this amazing, super helpful video that you're enjoying right now and will be sharing with all your friends. This was my disguised attempt at NLP programming and now let's move to step number 5. Imagination. We can create everything we can imagine. Imagination is the craft shop where all the dreams and plans are created. The exercise I told you about before works wonderfully for stimulating and developing imagination. It can help you greatly in formulating specific plans that will help you attain your goal. You can make the movie of your future exercise more powerful by asking yourself one question. How have you achieved all these amazing things? Wait for a bit and you will definitely receive an answer. Step number 6 is planning. Here Hill recommends not to do this alone, but create a mastermind group, a group of people that are united by one goal. The mastermind group should meet regularly, preferably several times per week, discuss the current progress towards the goal and develop the best strategy for processing further. In reality, this idea is the most powerful thing you can adapt to achieve success. This works not only in business, it also works great when you try to achieve personal goal as well, such as weight loss for example. By creating a support group of like-minded people, you get accountability, motivation and support while pursuing your goal. It is hard to overestimate the power of such group. Plus nowadays, it is really easy to organize a mastermind. Using the power of internet, you can find friends in forums and online communities that have similar goals. Find like-minded people and invite them to your online mastermind group. You can meet weekly in Skype or any other chat application. Or have a weekly video conferences where you share your progress, discuss best strategies and motivate each other to achieve your goals. Step number 7 is decision. Here is the key to effective decision making. You need to make decisions fast and change them very slowly. If you have troubles making decisions, you need to practice this skill. Even the wrong choice is better than no choice at all when you jump from one solution to another. The next step is persistence. Lack of persistence is the most common reason of failure. The good news is that persistence is the state of your mind. It can be trained and developed. You won't become rich by only wanting to be rich. You need to add a detailed action plan that you follow through with persistence and determination. The skill to focus your mind on one goal and work towards it until you reach it, overcoming all the setbacks and all the obstacles, this is the skill that separates winners from losers. Step number 9 is creating mastermind group. Hill already talked about it in the chapter on decision making. If your goal is important to you and you seriously want to turn it into reality, make sure you don't ignore this advice. Surround yourself with like-minded people who support you on your way to success. The people we surround ourselves with play the major role in the way we think, feel and act. Step number 10 is rather unusual. The mystery of sex transmutation. Hill recommends to transform the sex drive into energy and give it some productive purpose. Honestly, I haven't mastered the concept, so I don't go deep into that. If you're curious, read the book. Step number 11 is your subconscious mind. Now the language of subconscious mind is the language of feelings and emotions. Once again, the movie of the future technique I told you about will help you turn the emotions on and program your subconscious mind for success. Do this exercise daily and you won't struggle with motivation, it will accompany you always. Step number 12 is your brain. Once again, Hill talks about the power of mastermind. Notice this is the third time Hill suggests creating a mastermind group in one short book. Maybe he's hinting that this is a really important idea that you need to implement if you want to become successful. Hmm, something to think about. Now let's move to the last step. Sixth sense. Here all the woo things come alive. Your sixth sense is your personal connection with higher self, with the universe, with God, with creative mind, doesn't really matter what you call it. The concept is simple. The more you listen to your intuition, the more information it will give you. Your sixth sense is your personal connection to higher intelligence. Be in touch with it and it will become your best friend on the way to success. And now 
Get ready for the ultimate secret of all secrets, the one true key to inevitable success. Ready? If your plan has failed, create a new plan. This is it. If your current plan doesn't work, don't get discouraged and don't perceive it as a failure. Simply replace it with another plan and keep going. Learn to accept the simple fact of life. 99% of all plans don't work. Look for the one that does. Remember that there are no unrealistic goals, only unrealistic deadlines. Let me tell you a quick story from the book. An uncle of Mr. Derby was caught by the golden feather in the gold rush days and went west to dig and grow rich. He had never heard that more gold has been mined from the brains of man that has ever been taken from the earth. He staked a claim and went to work with pick and shovel. The going was hard, but his lust for gold was definite. After weeks of labor, he was rewarded by the discovery of the shining ore. He needed machinery to bring the ore to the surface. Quietly he covered up the mine, retraced his footsteps to his home in Williamsburg, told his relatives and a few neighbors of the strike. They got together money for the needed machinery, had it shipped. The uncle and Derby went back to work the mine. The first car of ore was mined and shipped to a smelter. The returns proved they had one of the richest mines in Colorado. A few more cars of that ore would clear the depths, then would become the big killing in profits. Down went the drills, up went the hopes of Derby and uncle, and then something happened. The vine of gold ore disappeared. They had come to the end of the rainbow, and the pot of gold was no longer there. They drilled on, desperately trying to pick up the vein again, all to no avail. Finally they decided to quit. They sold the machinery to a junkman for a few hundred dollars and took the train back home. Some junkmen are dumb, but not this one. He called on a mining engineer to look at the mine and do a little calculating. The engineer advised that the project had failed because the owners were not familiar with fault lines. His calculations showed that the vine would be found just three feet from where the derbies had stopped drilling. That is exactly where it was found. The junkman took millions of dollars in ore from the mine because he knew enough to seek expert counsel before giving up. One of the most common causes of failure is the habit of quitting when one is overtaken by temporary defeat. Every person is guilty of this mistake at one time or another. Remember that you can't force anyone to quit until he decides to quit himself in his own mind. Failure is a decision, just as success is a decision, so make the right one. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. Just click the big red subscribe button below this video. And now it's over to you. Which of these steps do you consider the most important one in reaching your goals? Let me know in the comment section below.